I finally have a production Beagle Y AI, so today we're gonna unbox it. So, quick start guide, you should probably follow that, otherwise keep watching this video. And we have the board itself, in nice anti-static packaging. Looks like Seed Studio pre-assembles the antenna, which is very nice. And the board is quite dense, as you can see. But it's got all the connectors we expect. Everything's good. So let's go ahead and flash an image to it. Get our micro SD card in there, put in our adapter, plug it into our computer. And then we can use the brand new BB Imager to actually get our image. So this is a fork of Raspberry Pi Imager. We can choose our board, Beagle YAI, choose our operating system and our storage, which should show up there. And we can go ahead and for now skip the OS customization, let it erase the drive, and we're gonna fast forward through the process of writing and verifying the card. Now that we're done, we're going to remove the SD card and plug it back in. And we should see our boot drive show up just like that. We're gonna go in there and we're going to open the sysconf.txt so we can actually modify some parameters. There's a few things we actually wanna modify in here, namely our root password, which is gonna be super secret. We're gonna modify our username and password, which are also gonna be super secret. In this case, the name is Beagle and the password is, again, whatever super secret password you want. And as a nice to have, we're also gonna change our host name, so it's gonna be Beagle Y when we boot. When we're done with that, we're gonna simply save and we're gonna eject the drive. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and plug in the SD card, which is definitely the same one I showed before, Magic of Editing. And we are now going to take a USB Type-C cable and plug it into our laptop. And we're gonna plug in the other end to our Beagle Y so we can do a headless setup. When the board's booted, you'll see a heartbeat LED light up just like that. Now on our computer, we can look for devices and see if we have a TTY USB modem on Mac or Linux. And we see we do have a device. So we're gonna connect to that at 1150200 baud. So that's our UART debug port. We're gonna log in as Beagle and our super secret password. And now let's get on Wi-Fi. Let's clear that. And now let's look at the device list. So we see our WLAN zero device. That's our CC33 Wi-Fi 6. We're gonna have it scanned for networks. Now we're gonna list the networks that it scanned. And we see we have a couple networks. The first one is the one we are going to connect to, and that's the top signal one. So we're gonna issue this command here. So we're gonna set our passphrase first. We're gonna select the station, which is WLAN zero, and then we're gonna connect to the network with the SSID. We're not gonna get a response if everything went according to plan, but we can write the command IW control Station WN0 show. And now we see that we are indeed connected to the network. We can also ping Google. And we see that we have network. So now let's go ahead really quick and do an apt update to get our package list. I'm gonna skip through that. Now we're gonna do a full upgrade so we make sure we have all the new patches and we're up to date. And then let's install NeoFetch just for the fun of it. And we can now run NeoFetch, and here we are. So we see we have BeagleBoard.org, BeagleYAI, kernel 6.1. So that's it. You're now up and running with your BeagleY. Happy hacking.